G'day guys, Wasto here, Wasto's Garage. Today we're doing a timing belt on a Proton Jumbuck 1.5 litre. This one happens to be a 2008 model, uh, single overhead cam. So what I've done is basically you have to remove your power steering pump, power steering pump bracket, get that out the way, move that aside. You'll have to remove your engine mount, support your engine, and then remove your engine mount, obviously. And that's your upper engine mount there. You'll have to get these hoses, power steering pump hoses out the way. Just put them out, tie them aside for a, for the time being. Um, you'll have to remove your uh, ancillary belts. There's like a belt for each one. Belt for your alternator and a belt for your air conditioner. Um, they're all pretty much buried You've got to take a lot of little bits and pieces off. But I've, I've got down to uh, brass tacks now, the nitty gritty, all right? What I've done, I've installed a new water pump, which is behind the timing belt, which if you're going to go to all that trouble, you may as well install that. So I've just up to that now. I'll give you a, give you a uh, bird's eye view from the bottom here. Okay, so look, there we have the new water pump installed. That's what it's looked like, all uncovered. And I've removed the timing belt. But you'll notice here, I've put some markings on the timing belt, on the timing belt uh, sprocket gears, teethed belt gizmo. There you go, that's a technical term. So I've marked them in the positions they exactly were. So I've got a couple of issues with this that I'm, um, I'm fixing as we're going as well. So, uh, always healthy to do a new water pump, you don't have to, but always in the kit they'll give you a, a new tensioner. So I've got a brand new tensioner there. The old one's been removed already. And there that one is. And they sit in there. But you'll see that when you take it off, so it's pretty self-explanatory. Um, right, for this one I'm also replacing the seals probably get them in the kit too so that will need to be removed gently so I don't disturb anything it's been marked take that one off and this little spinner washer off there reveals our leaky seal so that gets replaced too I'll replace the upper seal as well as well as the water pump and the timing belt which comes in this kit here and that's my new belt in there. So that'll be going on. And there's my seals. So just to make sure, just mark your, your pulleys where they are to ensure you slide that belt back on in exactly the same position. Just don't spin anything or move anything in the process. Yeah. If I do do that, I've still got Something does happen, I've marked it here and here. So I know those two to line up. But I don't want to go anything like 180 degrees. Pretty much there it is. So yeah, Lost Days Garage. Not all about cars, hope that's been of some assistance.